And we got some uh, stretchy cordage right here, which is nice because I like the stretchy cordage. There's a lot of different things you can do with a stretchy cordage like this. You can use it as a tourniquet. You can use it to hang stuff up in trees. You can use it to tie stuff up, people up, whatever you want, whatever you need, you can use this cordage for. Now, I like that because a lot of times if I'm hiking, I'm in the woods and say I get sweaty, I wanna take my flannel off or I wanna take off my hooded sweatshirt. Stuff the hooded sweatshirt inside here and boom, look at that. I can still carry my bag, I can still carry my stuff and I don't have to worry about losing my hooded sweatshirt. What's up guys, Prepared Guy here once again, and I'd like to introduce you to a backpack from the company Yomont. Now, they asked me to do a review on this bag because this is a new bag on their website and they put it on Amazon and they wanted an expert opinion on the bag. So they said, hey, Prepared Guy, would you be interested in checking out this backpack and let us know what you think of this product? So they sent me a backpack, I checked it out today, I went hiking with it, I stuffed all my stuff inside of it. I, I filled it up pretty good. I had about 20 pounds worth of items in there and I just wanted to see how it would feel and so I went on to my usual hiking trail and I went out and I had a nice time with it. I didn't have any kind of issues that, you know, normally people, if they stuff 20 pounds worth of stuff in there and then walk a couple miles, then they're just gonna go, oh gosh, you know, especially with a new backpack that you're not used to or that you didn't particularly pick out yourself. They just sent me this at random. I didn't have any say of which backpack I wanted from their website. They just said, hey, this is a new backpack. We want you to try it out. So jumping into some of the technical details about this backpack, if you take a trip on over to amazon.com, you can look up this backpack by typing in Yomont. C-O-B-T-24, that's the actual backpack name, and it's a 37 liter military tactical backpack, three day army molly assault, waterproof rucksack pack for outdoors, hiking, camping, hunting, fishing, bug out, and more. So if you go there and you check that out, it is made from 100% Kodora 550D fabric. It has two-way YKK zippers. And if you don't know anything about YKK, YKK is one of the best zipper companies in China. Okay, so moving along, it has Doraflex UTX buckles all over this bag. It has compression straps, four of them on the uh, sides and two of them at the bottom. So that way you can go ahead and attach extra items. Now, if you know anything about backpacks, you know that extra molly on a bag is awesome to have because you want to be able to stuff as much stuff on your bag as possible and especially in a bug out situation. So do I like molly? <sighs> Not really. I don't really like particularly like Molly because I like to have all my stuff inside of a bag, but that's my personal preference. For some people that like to customize their bags, this is an awesome bag because you can stick so much stuff on this bag that you will basically uh, be able to, um, you know, create your own kind of galaxy on your bag by having, you know, a, a med kit up here. You can put your tourniquet over here. You can put your flashlight holder here. You can put, you know, all kinds of just different stuff. You put your radio pouch here. You can put a water pouch there. This bag has a lot of molly, a lot of molly. Did I mention this bag has a lot of molly? So what do I think of the inside of the bag? Well, let me give you some pros and cons about this bag. When I was checking out this bag, I made a list of pros and cons, and here is how they go. They go in this order. Um, what's the first pro? Well, the material is 550D Kodora fabric. So what does that mean? Well, Kodora fabric is usually a mixture of either polyester or cotton blend with nylon. And that's basically what that typically is. Some use a mixture of this and that, some use a mixture of the other. Um, it's not always a consistent mixture. And when they say fabric, it's kind of vague, but that's what you get for you know the money that you pay. This is a middle of the road backpack. It's pretty standard and I, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't expecting that good of a bag when they contacted me, but I actually was impressed by some of the features. Now, the second feature that I liked about this was the padding on the straps and on the backing. The padding was nice because I didn't feel like it was digging into me on my hike. I felt that the back support and the back padding was very nice. The one thing I didn't like about it was that you can see the actual 
padding inside of it um, through the mesh and I was like oh well that kind of looks a little bit cheap but then I realized you know what if this bag gets soaked then you're going to end up having a, a, a really hard time having it dry out if this was made from different material, if it was made from a different mesh or anything like that. So that's why they kind of let it roam free inside there. And, um, you know, if it gets wet, it's going to dry out faster. Do I like it? Eh, it supports my back good. It didn't feel too bad. Um, is it going to wear out over time? I don't know because it kind of, the mesh reminds me of the cheap like Walmart type of backpack material, but just pulling at it and picking at it, it's not as cheap cheap as those bags so I do like it the other part that I did like about this bag was the fact that it has a huge clamshell um, pocket on the inside and when you open that up you have this wonderful um, pouch that's inside there and it's unfortunately it's for the hydration bladder um, and it comes with all the strapping for that and you can put that in there but you don't have to use it for the hydration bladder you can go ahead and just stuff extra crap that you want to put in there and it's going to be perfectly fine um, you can put a bottle holder on the outside of it so you can keep your water on the outside of the bag instead of having to use a hydration bladder but this bag is designed so that you can use it with a hydration bladder now that compartment you can sleeping bag whatever inside of it too it's just so big it's it's several inches deep and it just keeps going forever i packed a bunch of stuff in there today i put about 20 pounds worth of items in there and i still had a ton of room now guys moving along to some of the things that i did not like about this backpack well let's see first off i didn't like the fact that it didn't have pockets on the outside i'm not one of those types of people that like to go out and buy the extra pouches or pockets for my bag i like to buy a bag that has all the stuff already inclusive inside of it so i didn't particularly like that but if you like customization like i said you're gonna love this bag because there's tons of molly for you to put everything everywhere so that was my first con, and that's not really a con, that's just personal preference for me. Now the second one was that there was no water pocket on the side or no pouch for the water, so you couldn't just throw a water bottle in there, you had to go out and purchase extra stuff. Like I said, that's just a personal preference. I didn't like that. I would like the fact that it does have the hydration bladder, it's just not my style. So the last thing on here was, like I said, the um, mesh webbing in the back. I didn't really like that. I thought it was kind of like cheap looking, but it's got a purpose and it serves that purpose well if i did take this into um, a place where it was going to get wet or if it started raining i feel that it would dry out really well so it's really a personal preference on my part i really couldn't make any complaints about this bag overall for the price point of 65 dollars on their website and right now it's on sale for 49.99 on amazon if you are on the channel right now watching this you can get that price currently now it's not going to last more than the next week or so so just if you're going to get it get it soon but i don't mind this bag at all i actually do like it i like the fact that it has a lot of different features on it i like the fact that it is middle of the road price and i like the fact that it's made from tough material okay guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pack up this bag and we're going to take it for a hike So I'm gonna go for a little hike with this bag. I'm gonna throw it on for the first time and see how it feels on my back. I've got my jacket on and all this other stuff. So I'm hoping that the straps will go around my fat ass. All right, there we go. This is interesting. We got little friends. We got little friends with us following us in the, uh, the trail today. So I'm gonna go down this trail so far the uh, bag's pretty comfortable. I forgot to put the chest straps on, so I'm gonna do that right now. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with my mic. Uh, okay, put these chest straps on. Uh. So 
not too bad. I leave my jacket open a little bit because I like to be able to be comfortable when I'm walking. It gets too warm. I also have that compression strapping in the back, but right now I don't need that. We're gonna see how far we can go before it starts to get uncomfortable. So far, so good. The padding on these straps are really helping out. I've walked about a mile so far, and um, yeah, it's not too bad. This backpack has went with me for two miles. I'm not gonna go for a 25, 30 mile hike today, but I have enjoyed having this bag on my back. It's super lightweight. I don't feel like I'm carrying a ton of baggage. You know how sometimes you're walking and you can feel the weight of the actual bag? Well, I have like about 15, 20 pounds worth of stuff in this bag and I have not had any issues so far. It's nice and comfortable. I don't feel like I'm carrying the bag's weight. I feel like I carry what's in the actual bag itself. So that's always a good plus. These straps are super comfortable. I haven't had any issues with them so far. They're not digging into me. They're not uncomfortable. I have my waist strap on, I have my chest strap on, and I have the shoulder straps on. And obviously, otherwise the backpack wouldn't stay on my body. So it's been comfortable. It's been nice. I feel like um, I feel like this is going to be a good, comfortable bag for anybody who just wants to do some lightweight backpacking. Well, that was a nice hike. Did a couple miles. <sighs> bag held up pretty well. Whoops. Decent bag all around. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, stay prepared.